Hello, and welcome to Joomla Development 101. We're going to be continuing our lecture series on module creation for Joomla CMS, and in this lecture we're going to look at creating the base file within our module class, within our module files. This base file is typically named the same as our module name. Let's look at a couple key points about this file. First of all, as I just mentioned, it should be named the same as the folder. So, in the example file, this means in the example module that we're creating called Smart Welcome, our base file name will be mod underscore smartwelcome.php. Secondly, the base file should contain a minimal amount of code. This is more personal preference maybe than it is actual hard and fast rule. However, by having a slim base file, it makes it extremely easy to look through and find what is being done and how it's being handled by the base file. Lastly, the base file should include any necessary view path so that when Joomla reads through this file, it then knows how to display that information to the user. Let's begin looking at that file. The first thing we're going to write in modsmartwelcome.php is going to be the same type of intro block that we've done in some of our other PHP files. We're going to want to name the package, the sub-package, any copyright and licensing restrictions. Next, we're going to need to define jexec as we did with the others, as this helps protect Joomla from security hacks. Once we've done that, the first thing that I typically like to do in modules is to define my helper file. So let's include the helper. And we'll do require once. And as long as we're doing that, let's go ahead and create that file now. So I'm going to save that as helper.php and save that within the helper folder. The next thing I'm going to want to do is get my actual show variable. So from this point what I'm going to do is define show and then I'm going to call my helper file the show function pass params and return the result to the show variable. So I haven't yet defined mod smart welcome helper I did create the file, but I haven't yet defined that class, nor have I created the function show. So I'm going to do that in a future lecture, but for right now, I'm simply going to be looking to the show variable to display the correct message. Next, I want to check to see if show has anything in it. If it does, I'm going to require jModule helper get layout path mod smart welcome I'm going to pass in params and here I'm going to pass in layout and set it to default if nothing else and that is really the extent of mod smart welcome.php but let's look a bit more about what we have defined here first of all our show variable is going to actually contain whether or not we're displaying a message and if we're displaying a message what that message text is by wrapping my require of my layout in an if statement, if show returns null or don't show, then I won't display anything to the user. So right now I have the basic functionality of displaying or not displaying a view to the user. JModule helper get layout path is a standard Joomla class that defines a layout based on the first parameter string passed in. In this case, I'm telling it to go to mod smart welcome. It's going to look inside mod smart mod. It's going to look inside mod smart welcome for a TMPL folder, and then it's going to next pass in this param, get layout, or use the default. So Joomla is going to navigate to the mod smart welcome folder inside the modules. It's then going to go inside the TMPL folder and it's going to look for the correct layout. 
if I have not defined a layout in my params, it's going to get the default layout. This is what's actually going to display the view to the end user. So as you've seen, the base file is actually not very in-depth and doesn't require a whole lot of code to be written. In the next lecture, we're going to go ahead and look at the helper file where we're actually calling the show function.